This is a passive infrared sensor I got from IC Station. The model number they use is 1543. It's a 3 liter device. So this is where you would connect your voltage. So I'm going to be using 5 volts. This is where you would get your signal. And then this is ground right here. And you would use this little bump right here as your reference. So I'm going to hook this up and we can see the signal. All right, so here is the passive infrared sensor. And on the oscilloscope, we are seeing the signal pin. So as I move my hand over the sensor, you will see that the signal rises. And when I move my hand away from the sensor, the signal will go down. All right, so I built a simple little amplifier. Really, all it uses is a BJT transistor and a 741 operational amplifier and a potentiometer. I'll go over the schematic after I'm done showing you the signal. Okay, so the bottom one here is at one volt per vertical division, and then the other signal up here, the one with a lot of noise on it, is the actual signal off of the infrared sensor. So if I move my hand over the sensor, you can see the signal drops three volts. So that's a very good way of measuring the motion detection. All right, now I'll show you the schematic. Okay, so here's the schematic. It's rather simple as I stated before. So here's your passive infrared sensor. You have the three pins, VCC, signal, and ground. So you wanna come out through here with this capacitor, resistor, and then a resistor to the base. And at the collector, you wanna put a resistor just for a voltage divider. And then you wanna to go to the inverting input of your 741 op amp and at the non-inverting pin 3 here you want to put a potentiometer so you can set the voltage so when it detects a difference in voltage from pin 2 to pin 3 the output will shift as you were seeing on the oscilloscope so very simple now you want to make sure you have a very sturdy potentiometer in order to bias this just right. You don't want vibrations to set off the potentiometer's point there. You may also want to just use a low value potentiometer with higher value resistors on either side. So you just have a small little voltage that you're playing around with in order to get these guys synced up. All right, so I fine tuned the voltages so it will actually trigger when I approach the bench before I had to wave my hand pretty close to the sensor. So you'll have to really get the voltages close to one another for this to work properly. So I'll just demonstrate. As you can see on the oscilloscope there, that's the signal. When it drops low is when it senses me approaching it. So there you go. It detects a increase in ambient temperature. So this is the product I got from IC Station. Now you can just get the module instead so you won't have to worry about amplifying the signal yourself. I just thought it'd be fun to do it as I want to build my own custom motion sensor for my soldering iron. So that'll be my next video using the sensor to turn off my soldering iron if I forgot to turn it off and I'm not present at the bench. So stay tuned for that.